to Gemini by Brie. My name is Brie. I am the owner of Gemini by Brie Hair Care Products. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the job I found after I moved. So I moved to Jersey, as I got to know from Brooklyn, and I got a job. Like literally, I moved May 1st. I got the job like April 28th. I told them I was moving the Wednesday because there was the Monday. And this was like my first time being a manager. Like I was getting pray brief. It was good for the moment. But the shit was annoying, all right? So the store name is Caval. Yes, I'm going to give the tea because y'all need to know, all right? So, boom, my experience at Caval was not the best. And I'm not going to say their names. Y'all go, if you apply, you'll meet to the demon and demon. All right, let's see. Let me give them names. Rachel and Sarah. I know me and Sarah again, but it's a different Sarah. from Not from the Chick-fil-A Sarah. This is a different Sarah. So. But that's, remember when I was telling y'all in Chick-fil-A, I met Sarah? Fuck, now I gotta change the name. All right, but Sarah in this one too. So uh, some of these people gonna get, get, they gonna get described by whatever they are. No shade intended, no hatred. That's just how it keeps, instead of creating all these names for me to remember, it's better for me to just call, call them as I, as I go through the story. But I'm not gonna call them with their names. So Rachel and Laura, remember these names. I met them, they told me come in, I did the paperwork and everything, all right, cool, lit. It was five of us that was managers, gems, that's what they called it, assistant managers to the um thing. But we on the line, like, this shit ain't make no sense. We're gem, we're, we're assistant managers, but we doing the most work, and we on the line. Like, my back used to hurt me. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm good on standing, I could work, I could cut, I could cook, but... I can't be in like one spot for a man long. Like my favorite thing to do there was line back. Cause you just, you watching the whole thing and you filling up, you filling up. Whatever they low on, you fill it up. Let me tell you something, when I did that, they didn't have to call for nothing. I was on top of it. I said, oh, that's low. Switch, switch, whoop. I was moving. All right, cool. Let me, let me get to the top though. So when you're a gem, you got to learn the whole store. You got to learn grill, prep, line register banking everything so i didn't mind that because i'm good i already knew how to do everything so i didn't mind all right boom first week i was on the grill i believe and yo yo my arms were killing me like cutting chicken oh my god like i don't know which one's worse the cutting the chicken or like flipping the shit on the grill like that whole that that shit work if you want labor go there go there I don't, I, uh, it was so, she said she was so annoying. The first week I did grill, second week was prep. Prep was the best week. It was so nice and chill and calm. What? They couldn't tell you nothing. Prep was light. One week I was the GM, like I was doing GM shit. So that's the third week. And then the fourth week I did the line yeah and the rest of the time it was whatever time i get there whoever i'm with either i go in the back to do the bank shit or i'm doing a lawn shit or i'm setting up or whatever so yeah that was pretty much like everyday thing we got all right i gotta give y'all names again because i left out somebody's name so we got rachel laura and erica erica is another part of the story remember these three i met rachel and laura during the interview they interviewed me and Erica wasn't there, but they was talking about her. So the when I started, that's how I met her. That's how I met Erica. And Erica's the GM. She, she looked a little new to being a GM because sis was just asking me mad questions like, oh, you worked at this place. How did they do their setup and shit like that? Because with Cava, what they do is they got a they got a, a, a big distribution center that makes all the food and then the stores order the food and that's how they make their money back in house. So I was telling her, I was like, oh, they got a warehouse and they make everything and we just, and we cook it and then it's done asking her this mad questions like she ain't got like she was new to being like a general manager she was trying to find ways to be initiative and shit cute cute whatever whatever all right boom. i'm just getting to the tea what really happened i was there for like two weeks my period came on like a tuesday i know I know I should have I knew better I didn't know what happened was like normally my period would come like five o'clock in the morning before I leave the house before I leave the house or I feel the cramps and everything but I didn't feel it this day I went into work and it came so I, I couldn't stay like stayed until I threw up they sent me home the next day I was bedridden like I, when I tell you my cramps was in the back of my stomach in the back of my spine like I was in so much pain Wednesday, I call. I was calling the store, calling the store. I'm not getting nobody because that's how you got to call out. When you call out with them, you got to call the store, talk to somebody, 
and that's the only way you could call out. That's the only official way to call out. No texting, none of that shit. I'm like, yeah, well, Alan, texting is the best way because that's the way y'all gonna get the message. The Friday now, mind you, my period came that Tuesday. I was throwing up from Tuesday, so I didn't eat. When I have my period, I don't eat because I, I, I don't feel to eat. And it got me feeling very nauseous and just, just disgusted. So I don't even look at food. I be surviving off like water and weed. Like, real shit, real shit. Ain't no shame in my game because this shit is crazy. Sometimes, like some, like my period, my period last year was dangerous. Like I thought I was seeing the light because it should not hurt like that. But whatever. So I text Lisa. Lisa's another another GM. Okay, I'm calling the store. Calling the store. I'm not getting nobody. So I'm texting you to tell you I can't come in. So she was like, Oh, is it because of your period? So I'm like, Yeah. And she was like, oh, okay, uh, can you get a doctor's note? So I was like, yeah, I got a doctor's note. Talk, they know I got doctor's notes on deck. You hear me? I don't care. Ain't no shame. Why? Because you need that shit. They be trying to play this up. First of all, they never supposed to be asking for a doctor's note. Only time they're supposed to ask for a doctor's note is when you're gone three days straight. But I had them on my laptop. So I just printed one out. Because I came in the next day with the doctor's note. Here, y'all want a doctor's note? We could, we could go back and forth with these doctor's notes. They called me before I went on my break. They called me like, oh, can we talk to you? This is Erica and Rachel that want to talk to me now. After Lisa and me texting everything, all I was sending them. We sitting there and we're sitting here just like this. And she like, oh, Rachel was like, oh, um, I don't like that you called out for your period. So I said, well, I get really bad cramps. I don't know why pills don't work on me. Cause I told them the girl was like, "Do you want a pill?" I'm like, "No. If I take anything, it's gonna make me throw up, and I'd rather just not, not fuck with it, leave it alone. Not even water. I'm like, I sip the water, but I'm not gonna eat nothing. Like I'm not gonna put food in my body. So, cause I knew, I already knew this shit was going. I was gonna die if I did it. So I didn't do it. So I told her, I said, look, pills don't work on me. I, they never have, never will. They don't work. I don't even take pills for nothing. When I tell you I don't take pills for nothing, I can have a headache. I don't take pills. I don't take pills. I don't like pills. I don't know what it is. I used to, when I was younger, I used to train myself how to swallow them. But then um, I used to train myself how to swallow them with ice. Like, you know, crush the ice and then swallow just so I could get better, get better with the feel of it. But I just realized that pills wasn't doing shit, but just filling up my body for no reason and not taking care of nothing like i got cramps i took gel the one time pills worked on me it was the aleve the one time that shit took all the pain away and then the next month i tried it again it didn't work i said are you kidding me so i stopped taking that my doll never worked i'm like my doll never works shit overrated put that shit down tiny all the dub not even extra strength none of that shit dub don't even want voice your time i gotta understand that i don't got i don't know what else to do y'all want me to come in here and throw up on y'all i'm like no so i looked at her i said you see i was like when we're finished this conversation this is the first time i'm gonna be eating it in three days my period is so bad i don't eat i can't eat it's gonna make me throw up oh well you need to talk to your doctor to get something because if you think this is what she said if you think you're gonna call out every um once a month every month because of your period you won't make it here four months because they had a thing where if you call out four times within six months without like no type of doctor's note or like a, a, a real emergency you could get fired four points and you're terminated so i'm like that once i heard that shit i was like oh gotta look for another job cuz I called the fuck out for my period I sure do ain't no shame in my game I'm not lying I don't feel good I'm not coming in there to hear y'all get on my nerves I can get on my nerves when I feel better so I don't gotta curse y'all out but y'all not gonna get on my nerves while I feel bad and then I'm gonna curse you out now everything you say to me get me tight and now you gonna just see how I you gonna feel how I feel and my energy is very present like you feel how I feel real quick real quick it's crazy look i don't know i've been i don't know what's going on it's been like that it's always been like that so i just leave it so okay cool then she was like oh um what is this i hear you said that you're the manager so you're not gonna you don't have to do it or something i said look it was onions the dude came and tell me cut the onions and i was like you cut the onions i'm not cutting the onions you're on prep first of all why am i cutting onions i've never cut Right, the way they want me to cut it. Two, no, I'm not even say it like that. But no, I know what I'm talking about. Two, I don't cut onions. I don't cut onions because a bitch is gonna be in tears, and I'm a, I'm gonna be in here crying, and we are gonna be in here all day. Yeah, they would have. If I had to cut them onions, they would have never got it. I'd have been there like this on one for four hours. Play with me. 
play with me. Like, come on, I know how I am. I'm not cutting this. The lady was next to me cutting it. Two seconds, my eye. I'm like, are you cutting onions? She like, yeah, I said, all right, I gotta go because I'm gonna be in tears. And I told her, I set it up. I'm, she not even gonna get a name, she not that important. I set it up though, cause I said, what I said to her, I was, she was like, oh, what's your position? Because she seen that I'm on prep. I was on grill last week, I'm on prep this week. So she was like, oh, what's your position? So I said, I'm a gem. She's like, oh, but you have to know everything. I'm like, yeah, but not the onions. I can't cut onions. And I was like, I, I was like, I, I was like, people not gonna be calling out every day for me to do it, so I'm not doing it. And they got tight for that. I, cause I walked into the back and one of the boys and one of the girls was talking and he, he told her, I said, I'm not doing that. Uh, oh, I can't work with that energy. So she, oh, tell the manager. That's all they know how to do. Tell the manager. Because no shade to all my Hispanics out there. But I was working with mad Mexicans. Either Mexicans, Puerto Ricans, Dominicans. I'm not too sure what it was. But majority of the damn store was Spanish. And then it clicked to me. Oh, shit, bitch. You in the wrong place. Like, don't get me wrong. We got black Spanish people. I speak it a little bit. I don't know everything, so I'm not going to act like I do. But it was way more Spanish than black. But it was some black Spanish, too. Yes. Yes. I don't, I, I, I'm not, you know, I'm not hating, you know. The Mexicans, y'all come, y'all do what y'all got to do. Whatever. Cool, cute, cute. But when y'all think... Just because y'all going to do as they say, I'm going to do as they say too. No, we're not. Because I know my limits and I know I'm going to stop it and I know what I'm not going to do. I'm not going to put myself in no jeopardy for none of y'all. So, I told her, I said, that's not what I said. What I said was, what I said was, since I am a gem, that's not my main job every day so I don't have to learn it. And I'm, I'm not cutting them onions. She like, oh, I'm sensitive with onions too. Once I walk in, my eyes are burning. I knew she was lying. I knew she was lying. Because I'm sensitive as fuck to onions. But it ain't that bad. It's, it's not like that. And I was with her when we went to the other store. And she cut them onions without a tear drop out of her face. So, bye. Because she's like, oh, I'm very sensitive to things. But she always she always got this story. And I noticed she got it on loop in her head. Because I don't know if I told you because I'm always telling the story. Me, mm -hmm. I bet you're always telling the story. So fast forward, I went and ate. Cool, whatever. I found me another job. Because I was over that shit. Like, after a few days, man, I was just tired of it. It's just dumb, so annoying. Erica, the other, um, the other general manager. Besides Lisa. So Erica's the other general manager. And... This was like a week before I had graduation and birthday because I took off like four days. I wasn't playing. So I told them, I was like, my, I graduate on Friday. My birthday is the Thursday. So I would like to just work Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And they were like, okay. Hey, Laura's birthday is the same day as my birthday. So this is where shit started getting twisted because they started sending me out of the store. I don't mind going to other stores just because I get away from them. But then that shit cutting into my bus fare because I'm paying with the PATH train, I'm paying per swipe. So $5.50 per day, that's one. But now I got to add on an extra $2.75 just to go like to 42nd or 25th third street or something like bro that shit cost that shit cost and that shit got annoying and then my hours started getting messed up a little bit because i'm going to the other stores and they doing whatever they want to do so i but i was on top like what they try to give me the thing sis was like oh you didn't work on tuesday you called out i said no i didn't y'all sent me to the other store girl i was so mad i said yo go talk to the other general manager because y'all sent me to the other store that day and i was there all day so go fix that please so erica wanted me to learn how to close but i'm like look i can't learn how to close right now i'm in jersey i don't know this area like this i'm not leaving here 10 11 o'clock when i know the path train turns off at 11 30 my last bus is like 11 11 like no i couldn't do that like the last bus for at penn station to go to my house is 11 11 oh are you crazy and sometimes the bus be there before that and leave before that like no nah, you're wilding i not in no new state i ain't been in that long she got mad at that or whatever but i don't care she i worked the day shifts and that was it one of the time they sent me to a different store on 42nd around that area and one of them stores over there and i ate a lamb i ate a piece of lamb before i left and when i got to the other store my stomach was on fire like 
fire so bad. I went to Starbucks for tea. I don't even go to Starbucks for tea. And I went to Starbucks for tea. This shit was so bad, yo. That shit was crazy. So, I told him, I was like, yo, my stomach hurting me. I don't know what the hell going on. But I think I'm going to leave. Like, I threw up. Once I threw up, it was time for me to go. So, I threw up. I left. When I came home, I looked for a new job. So, I found one in the World Trade. At the time, I'm not there anymore either, so I could talk about that too. But I found this one at World Trade, and they had a hiring event. So I went to the hiring event, like that Friday, I called out. I pissed them off, I just called out. I had a death in the family. I had a death in the family, but the death in the family happened like the Monday, and I just texted them on the Friday that it happened that day instead. Who cares, you know? Because I wasn't going to be there by the time the funeral happened anyways, so it didn't matter. When we came... And they came back to me about that too. Oh, you're call out about your family. Do you have the the um, funeral thing? I was like, yeah, but they. I'm like, they're gonna hold him. I'm like, we're not burying him until June. Be if like June 14th, June 15th. I think it was like sometime around my friend's birthday because my friend was with me when we went to the funeral. My friend was with me at the time, and she was by my house for a little bit. So yeah, we just went together. But anyways yeah so i went did that interview i got that job so i was good with dipping off to these motherfuckers like everybody just thought i was quitting too like some of the girls came up to me and they were like yo we dead thought you quit because every day we see you leaving before time like nah they be sending me to other stores or um i don't feel good and i go home like they be having me they were like we don't blame you if you quit because this shit annoying it's so annoying they they high on the oh if you got time to leave you got time to clean don't be standing around listen if ain't no customers coming and we fixed everything we need to fix bro i'm chilling i am chilling i don't care what nobody say but yeah so what happened so yeah i did the interview i got the job they ended up pushing the opening the open they were supposed to open up like june 10th that was orientation day like before the funeral june 10th was supposed to be orientation day but then they pushed it to the 17th for an extra week so i'm like all right fuck it whatever i got this week to be chill you know get my life together get everything together cool um when was it so the following week now this was my birthday week they gave me my three days and i was all fraud thursday friday saturday sunday cool monday came now monday sunday came it's five o'clock in the afternoon i ain't getting no schedule no text message of a schedule yet so i text her like hey what's the schedule so she gonna give me monday tuesday wednesday thursday i think she tried to give me thursday off and sunday off but i was like can i switch the friday and the, can i switch it off and have the weekend off because i told her stop don't put me on the weekend over here i'm not there's too much work for me to be coming over here on the weekend and everything is slow oh my gosh like just imagine you get on the path train thinking you're going thinking you're going towards 33rd street and these motherfuckers wrap your ass around whole bokeh side come on that's that's too much that's too much it's annoying so i sex i was like oh can we can i like have friday saturday and sunday off and no closing she knew this she knew all of this already she knew all of this already but the bitch decided to text me that bullshit so i said look i was like can you change this because i'm not doing this she thought i wasn't gonna say nothing no change this shit and i didn't really want to go i cried like i knew i was over the job when i woke up in the morning crying about going i knew i was over the shit so once you get there bro yo don't you don't want to be there because i i cried she texted me and I was like, she was like, oh, I don't know how this is going to go on with your availability because you told them you had open availability. I said, I do for Wall Street, but I made it very clear. I can't close over here and I don't know what's wrong with y'all. What's y'all smoking? If y'all want to put me to like eight o'clock or something, maybe. But even then, I don't want to go home that late. So what I did, I said this to her. I said, yo, don't even stress yourself. Take this as my resignation. Bye. And I quit right in a text message and we was done. And that was it. I waited probably like three weeks because I got direct deposit. So I waited like three weeks before I even went and got no check. I lied. I didn't end up over there. Seeing as the other job that I was at at the time was in the World Trade Center, oh, there was no reason for me to go up 33rd Street side. So one of them days I just ended up over there on like a Saturday, I think. So I was like, oh. I think it was like one of those Saturdays. I didn't want to do the ferry. So I was like, all right, I'm going to go to 14th Street. 
and catch the path over there because it's close. So I went to the Cava, I went up in there, and I was like, hey, Lisa, I'm here for my checks. I was like, it should be two. The week that I, the week that I had my graduation and then the week I quit. <laughs> And we was good. She gave me my thing and she was like, oh, you want to check it? No, because sis, sis done adjusted whatever she adjusted. She took out whatever she took out. I don't care. But I left it alone because at this point, it didn't even matter no more. But I, you know when you feel it, like you look at the numbers and I'm like, that's not what I work. But I'm in my mom business. You know, only because it's been like, it's been like weeks now. And it's been, it was actually almost a month. Almost a month when I went back up there. So, you know, cool. I took them and I went about my day, right? I should have. I should have been a bitch and was like, oh, can you bring out the, the, the time sheets too so I could make sure everything is together because they owe me. They damn sure did owe me. But we let it rock because it wasn't that serious. I was ready to be done. Like, some of them came over to me and was talking to me. They was like, hey, we damn miss you and, you know, whatever. And then others, I didn't even give two looks at because bitches were in there was being stink and annoying, annoying. One thing I forgot to say, they told Rachel and Laura that um, I don't listen. Cause a girl, cause I'm wiping with the sanitizer water. I hate the sanitizer cause it makes my hands dry. So what I did was put on a glove on and wipe down. They like, oh, don't make them see you wipe down with a glove on. That's health code violation. Blah blah blah. So I'm wiping. It's hot too. I'm wiping. And girl like, okay, take off your gloves. I'm dead ignoring her. Oh, can you take off your gloves? Are you ignoring me? Mm -hmm. Now I'm done. Now I can take it off. Like, what? what's the problem? Oh, then she pulled me to the side like, oh, can we talk? No. Uh, you dad giving me attitude and all y'all bitches want to do is talk? No. Because when I give you attitude, you're not going to like me. You're not going to like me. And that's how I feel. So what I did, we spoke. Uh -huh. Yeah, but it's funny because in the end she actually gave me a compliment. She was like, oh my god, you did a great job on linebacking because I didn't hear anyone call for anything. Like, oh my god, you did great. Girl, I know. Like, what I was doing, dip, chicken, couldn't tell me nothing. The nigga over there, I say, yo, slide it. Just slide it. Soup, doop, doop. Bring it back. I was moving. It was nothing for me there. But that's the thing. I was a good-ass worker. They was just doing too much. They want They want the, uh, I'm going to do as you say, when you say it, how you say it. Bye, I'm not it. Remember Sarah and the Chick-fil-A story? That's how Sarah ended up coming here. So before I quit, the two weeks or three weeks before, she popped up talking about she works here now. And I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, huh? I was like, you work here? She like supposed to be. And then she ended up telling me the tea about Chick-fil-A and what happened. And then like three more of my Chick-fil-A workers ended up coming there getting hired that same time. So I was talking to them and I was talking to one of them. I'ma call her Tia. And she was cool. Like me and her was talking and everything. And she was like, oh, I'm not staying here long. She's like, mm, mm this is not it. She's like, I found something else already with better money. So I'm about to just, she's like, I'm gonna stay here for now till that one start and then I'm gonna dip. Cause I don't like it. And I'm like, good, I'm glad you don't. And then the, the haters, the other haters, we had another general manager. She don't really need a name, but um, we had another general manager. She was in the gym like me and she was a hater. Cause she seen us talking, mind you, she had a best friend in there, and they was always two peas in the pod. But the minute I get a friend in there, she like, oh, oh, you could go home early, but I ain't mind to go home early. It sure didn't, even though I'm supposed to be there till like five o'clock. She like, oh, go home, you could go home. Mm. I'm like, you see, I mean, her, me and me and Tia was like, oh, you peep, you peep the shit. But she's sitting there with her BFF all day. She not sending her home before, right? That's what I'm saying. The favoritism is sick and that shit. So if you ever work there, any of them stores, it don't even matter because you're going to meet these people. Their names are not Laura and Rachel. You're going to meet them and the others and you're going to see what I'm talking about if you ever get there. If you, wanna, if you are jammed the money good, they give you. They give you money. That's the only thing I could say. If you do like a cloping and shit like that, they got to give you money. She gave the two girls... Um, the closing shift and she gave me and the other boy the opening shift of that day because the following day we had to go to the um we had to like sit down and do studies with them and read the book and shit closed and then they called them at like six o'clock in the morning like oh don't forget the class and we both peeped like oh wow she gave them she gave them the hundred dollars last night both of them the extra because once you do the um if you close and then you got to come back to open they got to give you money that's a premium but that shit was just crazy. It was just too much favoritism in there, and I didn't like it. So after I quit and everything, I kid you not, 
my period the following month was the best it's been in a while like i wasn't getting cramps i wasn't dying i was like oh my god is they food that had me like this but everything else trash don't work there if you if you decide to run run i trust me i got more just stories to tell y'all with these jobs they be playing themselves but yes we're gonna expose because i've always wanted to be that person to be like undercover like i wish i was related to some of these owner people but they didn't know i was related and they i go in there and they treat me crazy like yo do you know how good that shit feel to be in that position they don't know who you are and you catch they ass what shitting me i moved on it's been it's been a year now too so oh wow this month makes a year so but this one was what long overdue i got another one coming soon 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 for another food place that y'all might be familiar with and y'all gonna be like damn that's how they treat them yes that's how they treat any workers and that shit crazy crazy but i hope y'all enjoyed this one and i'll see you guys in the next video